Hello, everyone. Welcome to the overview session of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Full Stack Disaster Recovery, referred as FSDR. FSDR provides comprehensive disaster recovery management for an entire application stack with a single click. I'm Sneha Nitin from the Platform and Availability Specialist team at Oracle. Let's start with the importance of business continuity plan, and then I will introduce you to FSDR features and capabilities, a short demo, and finally provide customer stories and references to important documentation links. Let's begin with understanding what issues need to be overcome for a robust business continuity plan. Now, building a bulletproof disaster recovery solution is the key to protecting businesses from a variety of data center outages. Here are some important issues that need to be overcome in order to ensure that your business is minimally impacted. Firstly, downtime. Reduce application downtime as this causes significant financial impact. You will lose revenue and productivity reputation from brand equity and trust, and also regulatory risk. Cost for additional infrastructure. You would often need to maintain additional data centers for DR purpose. You would need ideal systems to manage your disaster recovery resources. Thirdly, managing complexity. So lack of integration and administrative complexity increases the chance of errors and failures. This in turn can affect your RTO and RPO. Ensuring compliance. You may also need to comply with various regulatory guidelines. You might have periodic assessment of business continuity solutions using DR drills necessary for compliance and for assessing DR readiness. A disaster recovery situation typically demands an all-hands-on-deck approach during which the IT operation team runs through the DR runbook in collaboration with several infrastructure teams in order to complete disaster recovery operations in a coordinated fashion. And dealing with disaster recovery is also very stressful and frequently results in mistakes and human errors. And this can severely impact the recovery time objectives as well as recovery point objectives and results in a SLA breach. So thus, it is extremely important to streamline the DR runtime management through complete automation. The best approach is to have a single pane of class to manage, monitor, audit, debug and troubleshoot mission critical DR operations like switchover and failover. Now let's see some of the features and capabilities of FSDR. FSDR is an orchestrated single click DR for infrastructure databases and applications. It is for the entire stack. However, you have the flexibility to implement the DR topology for only infrastructure or for your infrastructure plus database or for your infrastructure plus database plus for your application. And an important thing to understand here is it that the DR management solution is not for provisioning or configuration of the DR. FSDR will only orchestrate on top of the existing DR solution for better, quicker and easier manageability. You can access full stack disaster recovery through the OCI cloud console. You can find it under migration and disaster recovery as DR protection groups. So everything about configuring, managing and using the using FSDR revolves around the concept of disaster recovery protection groups, that is the DRPG, which is why we choose to use DRPG to identify this new service in the console. FSDR is a fully automated DR service. You can bring part or all of the businesses back online after a disaster simply by selecting a specific DR plan from a list of plans in the OCI console and hitting this execute plan button with a single click. FSDR uses custom intelligence to generate out-of-box DR plans for Oracle applications, databases, and infrastructure. 
This helps customers generate basic DR plans very fast and with very little effort. You don't have to spend time configuring what actions need to be completed during a disaster recovery. You can also create user defined plans. With this, you can add, remove, modify tasks, change their order and add or remove custom automation to complete a DR plan at any time. So FSDR also allows to visually observe a DR operation at every strip through the OCI console. FSDR allows the switchover or failover to be cancelled, paused and resumed at any point during the execution of a DR plan. In fact, you can drill down into comprehensive, highly detailed logs during and after a DR operation. FSDR also allows to perform a passive, non-disruptive, comprehensive pre-checks before a DR plan is executed to ensure the DR operations will succeed at the standby region. Before we even start talking about full stack disaster recovery, you have to deploy everything that you're going to use. Everything has to be in use and functioning. You have to provision the network along with any block, file or object storage needed by the application in both the regions. You need to deploy the compute needed for the application. If you are using storage replication, then you have to configure it across the regions. You have to provision the databases. Right now, we support Exadata Cloud base database and autonomous shared across regions. The data guard association have to be enabled across the regions and without issues. You have to provision Oracle or non Oracle applications, application servers or middleware, etc. Now, once all this has been configured and provisioned, you can then create the DR protection group. Now, DR protection group is a logical collection of the components that we want to protect in case of disaster recovery scenario. You need to create the protection groups in both the regions and then you have to associate them with each other so that they work together in unison. Once the protection groups are created, we then assign the roles as primary and standby. Then you will have to add the members. Members are your various components, your VM, storage, databases and applications, etc. that work together as a unit. Add whatever members are at the standby side. This example is for cold standby, hence the VMs are only seen on the primary side and not on the standby side. We can then create a DR plan. Okay, so as seen here, we create built-in intelligent modules and these modules knows exactly what to do when they encounter certain types of members. For example, in case of storage, we will put automatically what to do with storage. In case of uh, databases, FSDR can see and understand whether you have a DG or an ADG and it knows exactly what to do with it. We know what to do with the VMs, when to start them and when to stop them. The DR plans build all these workflows for you that is shown here. And this comes with a product that makes it very easy for you to configure this service. You can also create these user defined configurations in the DR plans and add in scripts, whatever you would like to do for the workload. And once all this is set, all this gets executed with a single click. Now in this example, I'm going to show you switch over. And as just mentioned, once this is set up, FSDR does a pre-check. 
this is all automated and checks the readiness of your compute, your storage, your databases and data guard. In fact, everything under the stack that is configured in the DR plan. The pre-checks actually introspect for example, the network. So when the switchover occurs, is the network available and ready at the standby region? Once the pre-check is successful, we can proceed ahead. We stop the application, stop the VMs, reverse the data guard roles, reverse the storage replication. We launch the VMs and the application and all this is with a single click. With all this automatically done for you, DR operation is complete. Primary and standby roles are reversed with the application up and running. Deloitte Consulting was one of our full stack early DR adopters. Deloitte uses full stack DR to automate disaster recovery for a highly critical internal application that runs in OCI. Full stack DR replaced Deloitte's existing manual rebuild DR strategy with an automated, much easier to maintain solution. And finally, here are some references to the documentation link. We have a live lab in case you need some hands-on exposure. Thank you for watching.